morning. We're here at the UK Martial Arts Show and Sifu Samuel Clock has just joined me on the sofa. Um, I've just overheard you saying um, how wonderful you look for 21 years old. So um, how long have you been involved in the martial arts? Yeah, it seems like I've been about 10 years old. So a long time. Mm. And who was your first uh, Shifu? I started uh, judo. Well, judo? Mm. Okay. So I was in the church and the teaching judo, so I went to the best, the best Okay, and then what got you into Wing Chun? Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee got you into Wing Chun. <laughs> was it watching his movies or did you get the opportunity to meet him? Yeah, I was doing Wing Chun and then afterwards, yeah, Bruce Lee was a, was one of my uh, Kung Fu uncles. Your uncles, Kung Fu through, uncle, Kung Fu uncle, yeah. through the, yeah. Because when you when you learn uh, Wing Chun, it's more like a family art, isn't it? Yeah. Everyone that you become Man part of the, the yeah the two sons of Ip Man. The famous Ip Man. Yeah. And was that one of uh, was Ip Man? Am I correct? He was one of Bruce Lee's instructors Teacher, yeah. as well. Yeah. That must have been a pretty phenomenal time to be doing martial arts yeah. and to have such a, a level of instruction. Yeah, it's uh, very uh, lucky to be met to some of you by many other great teachers. Yeah. Okay, has the martial arts um, took you around the world? Yeah, 35 countries. 35, 35 countries. Is that, is that being to teach it? To teach it, yeah. To teach, so you... I travel around 20 countries a year. Wow. And you're still doing that now? Yeah. Wow. Do you ever do you ever have a, an off day where you get bored of teaching or no, no, no. what what keeps you infused? Yeah, it's uh, you have to pass it on. Yeah. Like a mission. Mission, a mission uh, yeah. Yeah, to pass on the name of it man. Is it and also it's much you know, Wing Chun is uh, like uh, part of my life. Part of your life. You can use Wing Chun in everything in your life and in your work it helps you in all different ways yeah because i was going through a very difficult time when i first came to england well to become a to become a, a psychiatric nurse okay so i didn't know anybody here and uh was stuck in the nurse's home mm -hmm. and then in the region uh, so did you you travel from China to move to England or Hong Kong? Hong Kong. Hong Kong. So a long journey and you yeah. travelled solo, so you you're yeah. so completely I, away I, I from. I was in uh, thirty eight years in Thirty eight years. Mm, and I was teaching the same time. Wow. So you kept really really busy and. When did you start traveling around the world to teach it then? Did you finish doing the psychiatric nursing and then no, move on to it? No, I think we're about 1984. Okay. Yeah. 35. That's 34 years. Yeah, 30 I brought my teacher over and then uh, I took him to Germany, I took him to Denmark, Australia, so we travel, you know. How many Wing Chun clubs have you got under you oh right now? You, you've got oh count. Yeah. That many that you've got mm -hmm. count. Yeah. You must feel pretty proud that you've managed to propagate it mm. so far and wide. Yeah, I managed to teach a lot of celebrities. Okay. So, so like uh, Zara. Yeah. Um, Silver is the only point. Stephen Seagal. Wow. And, uh, very, very yeah, proud I've been in the movie. Which movie have uh, you been in? It's called Assassinate. Okay. Yeah, I was doing Wing Chun in that movie. Awesome. There's a few more coming this year. And so it's coming out this year? Uh, uh, it's come out in uh, 2016. A few years ago. Yeah, you can find it on Amazon. So it's on Amazon, it's available. And yeah. Awesome. Whereabouts are you based? Uh, where is your club based? I, I live in, uh, near Blackpool. Ah, near Blackpool? Yeah. And uh, mm, the school is all the way. So do you, do you have many students, like, do you, your school will be packed out near Blackpool and... 
is there just you teaching yourself or do you have a team in, of in instructors? England it's like a, in England it's more like a well, yeah. all the Every, so well, everyone comes to travel to the, the devil, yeah. and they all travel no 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 I have to go to them so you, you could do with having it where they're coming to you now. Yeah. Now they're complaining. No, you're never here. <laughs> <laughs> You're always away. Yeah. Teaching. I like helping other people. Yeah. There's a lot, lot of uh, you know, people who they want to. They've done it before many years. Mm -hmm. They want to learn it properly. Yeah. A lot of different styles of people have done. Helping them to develop their style better. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you got any tips for anyone who wants to start? Hmm. Train hard and be humble. Be humble. The most important is be humble. You never, never give up. Yeah. Do you, you fall down and get up again. Hmm. So you keep getting up and. Keep getting up, yeah. Do you think there's a difference now between when you first came into the country and first started teaching in the 1980s? to now in like 2019? Yeah, I think uh, more, more like the beginning. I think. And everybody wants to try new, yeah. a lot of challenges. Mm. Yeah. Because it, with it being such a traditional art that you're teaching as well, I think, um, how do you think the enemy, you know, like the cage fighting and, yeah, we have this, and all we of that? Have student, I have students uh, who own the enemy gym. Mm -hmm. Mixed martial arts, and yeah, we have a lot of fighters coming yeah. into it. And do you think Wing Chun can enhance their skills? In close, for that? Yeah, in close range. Yeah. Because they know how to use it. We've got a lot of champions, you, you, you know, champion, UFC champions, they've got Wing Chun. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know, yeah, because it. With it being so close with the trapping, with the small MMA gloves, I suppose it would it'd be quite handy to trap to get into catch mm. and, and then go into like the judo throwing from the Wing Chun. Yeah, you know, because uh, it's against grappling, mm. the movement. Okay. But also the power. The power, you'd be surprised because on short range, mm -hmm. you can have a lot of power. You know, like the punch, you see his punch like this. Actually, there's another Wing Chun punch like this. So is that more with the, the bottom knuckle? No, I'm using all three. Yeah. So like at yeah. an angle? You feel it? Yeah. yeah. So it injects in. Yeah, because and you're using the elbow through. and the wrist and then the hip. So you get that whip at the end of the technique? Yeah. Cool. What would you say is the most devastating strike that's used in Wing Chun? Is it the famous one inch punch? Uh, actually, it's, uh, I think it's the palm strike. The palm strike? Yeah, the palm strike. Into the, yeah. the arm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But these punches just certainly knock out. Yeah. Because if you're in the MMA, if you're fighting, you see they put the guard there. So when they drop the guard. Straight in. See that? From yeah. there, that's it. Gone. So Wing Chun is more about precision and it's timing. It's about centralized. 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 Yeah. Centralized. So you're not just one center line because if somebody attacks you, if mm -hmm. you stay here, and so if you're bigger, stronger, you win. Yeah. So when they come, you change a little angle a little bit. Mm -hmm. So now they haven't got the center line. So just that slight re-angle. Yeah. So you miss, and also we have the footwork. So from here, when somebody hits your heart, and you move to here. Mm -hmm. So you're attacking from that angle. So it's just like a slight. blind spot. So you can't, yeah, you can't see, you can't, you can't reach. Yeah. Yeah. So we have special footwork. Okay. Is it quite simple, um, footwork? like? Because there's some styles where the footwork is very mm. complex. It's very simple. Very, very simple. And am I right in reading that it was a Buddhist nun that created mm. Wing Chun in, in the beginning? Yeah. So all the movement is very small. Mm -hmm. so, so. 
small reason. So, is this a style that would be really well suited to female practitioners Absolutely, as well yeah, as? Absolutely, yeah. borrow the energy. Borrow it. Right there in your hand. Yeah. If you punch me, I stop you. And that's how I borrow the energy. And then trapping. Yeah. So you you're using their energy against them. Is yeah. that the so so the bottom of the punch me. Yeah. I'm sitting but I hit you. I blink. Yeah. You're too fast. I'm trapped you. Oh that's thank you. Um where's you have you got any, any trips coming up in the like near future? Yeah. Um whereabouts are you that looks like a long haul flight. Yeah. Whereabouts yeah. are you flying? Yeah, I gotta go to Germany, I've got to go to Ecuador, Mauritius. And then um, Japan. Wow. And then go to America, and then Mexico, and then Mexico, go to Indonesia. Which is your favorite place yeah. to go and teach at? Favorite place, I like it, Argentina. Argentina? Mm. What What is it about Argentina that makes it your favorite Just, place? Uh, the is people there are very, ni um, very nice, and it's like a family. You know. So it's a different culture. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you for joining me this morning on the couch. Thank you, Sue. Thank you.